So today I'm talking about a Nissan with the P0340 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Nissan P0340 code? Well, it's a camshaft position sensor A circuit. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses the camshaft position sensor to know the location of the camshaft as it spins. And it uses this for timing. And it's seen an error with this, so I have to be troubleshooting know why. And some of the possible causes, well, it could be a faulty cam sensor. It could be a loose wiring connection. It could be an open or a short and possibly a blown fuse. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to locate the sensor A, camshaft position sensor. There can't be multiple sensors. There could be a single sensor sometimes. It's going to depend on the engine type and the year that it was made. So you want to get an electrical diagram for your particular Nissan year and engine type to know for sure what's going on. But basically, you'll, you'll either have a single camshaft position sensor or you'll have two. And so once you locate the camshaft position sensor, the next thing to do is to examine the wiring because anything bad in the wiring, open, short, bad connection, is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So you want to examine the wiring. And you can't check the wiring too to see if it's working with the multimeter. And what's going on with these three wire ones is that, is that one wire is going to be ground, one wire is going to be reference voltage coming from the battery and one wire is going to be going back to the onboard computer and again it can vary on the voltages and what's going on so you'll want to get a schematic for your particular nissan but basically what's going on is that one wire when the key is in the on position is going to be like 5 volts 9 volts or 12 volts it'll vary so when the key's in the on position you should be getting like 5 volts to one of these wires one of the wires is going to be ground so you could test it for continuity and be sure that it's getting a good ground and then the third wire is going to be going back to the onboard computers and so you could test it for continuity continuity also if you wanted to. So that's the basics of what's going on with the wiring. And so check all the wiring, be sure that's all good. And one thing to keep in mind with the wiring is that it's on a fuse. And so usually inside the engine compartment, there'll be a fuse inside of there, although sometimes it could be underneath the dashboard. Again, it's going to vary. But you want to examine your fuses and be sure there's no blowing fuse because this circuit is commonly on a fuse. And if that blows, then you won't get no power going to the plug. So be sure to check for any blow and fuses. So if that all looks good and there's no issues there, then very likely it's time to just swap out that cam sensor A. And the sensor themselves are usually pretty easy to swap out, but the location of them can be kind of difficult depending on the Nissan. Sometimes they'll be just directly on the top of the engine so you can get to them no problem. Then some other times they'll be up like on off to the side, like behind the firewall or something along these lines. So again, it'll just vary. But pulling the sensor out itself is pretty simple. They'll usually just have a 10 millimeter bolt and a wiring harness that you pop off and then you just put the new one in and you put the bolt back in and reattach your your wiring harness and that's basically it these are low cost parts i'll jump over on amazon and give you an idea how much they cost they're ranging around 26 that one's 45 15 12 dollars so they're not super high cost parts or nothing but basically after you check the wiring and there's no issues there and there's no blown fuse then replacing the camshaft position sensor will usually solve the problem. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Nissan with the P0340 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.